In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dripping paint effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Druval, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output. Uh, and let's look at the original photo. So, this is the original picture. Now, for this effect, I will be using this photo, a texture, and a couple of brushes, as you can see here. And if you want to use any of this, the download link is in the description. So, feel free to check it out. Okay, so to create this effect, first of all, let's unlock the background. So double click and unlock the background. Now we have to cut out the model. So for that, I'm gonna go and select my quick selection tool. It's really easy image to cut out. Let's make the brush a bit bigger. So as you can see, I selected this part by mistake and I am not going to select this hair because we are not going to need it. So no point in selecting that. So to remove selection from here, change your selection tool, right click and go to magic wand. And here make your tolerance somewhere around 20%. And when you do a click and also make sure that this is third option, which will remove the selection. So then just go and do a click and boom, it's gone just like that. After that, go to refine edge. In the refine edge, I will do just a little bit selection on the hair. So go and paint here and make your brush a bit bigger. So as you can see, it gave me really fantastic selection of the hair. Now I'm gonna go and simply hit OK. So we have selection of the model, then go and apply a layer mask from here. So for now, all the work with model is done. So I'm gonna go and rename it. Now let's go and create the background. For that, go to your adjustment layer and select a solid color. In the solid, you have to create a really dark gray tone. If you want the exact code, the code is right here. Uh, 4B4745. So go and hit OK. Now let's go and apply a gradient to it. So for that, right click and select blending options. In the blending option, go and select gradient overlay. Then go and change this blending mode to soft light. Then go to your style and make it radial. Uh, and make it reverse so edges are dark and make the scale all the way up to 150 percent uh, now i'm gonna make my opacity somewhere around like uh, 80 85 percent so 85 percent looks good go and hit ok now let's apply some texture so for that go to file uh, go to place and here you have this texture that you downloaded so go and place it now it's really tiny so i'm gonna hold my shift key and alt key uh, same time and then i'm gonna go and make it bigger from all the sides like that then go and confirm it then right click here and select rasterize layer then go to your image adjustment here uh, and where is it go and select desaturate so it will basically make it black and white uh, now go here and change its blending mode to soft light so we have this really nice texture here but it's way too strong so for that again right click here and select your blending options here you see these two sliders so hold your alt key and drag them this way so it will fade texture with the color of your background so i'm gonna do the same thing here go and fade it a little bit so we have really subtle texture that doesn't hurt to the eyes go and hit ok so as you can see the difference it looks amazing now activate your model layer and make a copy of it Control j uh, and put it on top of your texture this layer here, it is just for backup in case we screw up. So we have selection ready. Uh, so let's go and select the model. And here you have to activate your layer mask, not the model, but the mask. Then select your brush tool. And in the brush, uh, for this time, go and select regular round brush uh, and make it a tiny bit smaller, something like this. Right click and make sure hardness is 0% and your opacity is at 100. Then with black color, uh, here with black color, you can go and erase it. And let's say if you screw up something, you can simply just change to white and bring it back. I would not recommend that though. So I'm gonna go uh, and remove it. Uh, oops, with black color. Let's go and remove it. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see the details properly. Uh, and here's important tip. When you erase it, let me show you something. Uh, know your limits where you have to erase if you are following this same image. Uh, in the elbows, you are going to erase the dress. Uh, and give this elbows a really nice edge, something like this. You see here? So as you can see, this is how the cutout should be. Uh, you're gonna go exactly to the elbows and then you will match this elbow to this elbow and remove the rest of the image. Uh, and also you can go and remove the head from here as well. So I'm going to go and do that. 
and when you remove the head uh, go and make your brush a bit smaller and you have to remove until you get rid of the eyes and a little bit of nose we will bring some of the details so don't worry about it and i'm gonna go and remove it something like this perfect and this is exactly your cutout should look like now i'm gonna go and make a copy of this layer so press ctrl j and i'm gonna rename it to filter now before we apply the filter you have to make sure that you have activated your model layer and not the layer mask so select the model go to filter and in the filter gallery you have this uh, filter called fresco let me zoom out so you have a better idea so this is the fresco filter and my size is 1 8 and 1 but it's completely useless because if you use different image uh, number will be different so this is the output you should be looking for uh, if i turn it on and off you can see it gives it this really nice saturation and little bit of painting ish look which is really important because it will help blend the brushes so this is really nice then go and hit ok so it's blending real nice and i'm gonna go and erase a little bit of hair from here so turn off this eye activate your layer mask and you can erase it with black color really good benefits of using a layer mask so this is ready now i'm gonna adjust my model so select the move tool from here and put her in center where you need it uh, let's make her tiny bit smaller pretty good now go and confirm it so the complete setup is ready and now we can apply the paint brushes so for that you have to create a new blank layer from here and this should be under your model this filter layer you see uh, it should be under that then select your brush tool and in the brush uh, the first side is the paint dripping so it looks like the paint is dripping from the model um, kept an obvious so for that first brush i would like to use is this one uh, you can try any different brushes it's completely up to you uh, and how to use them so you're gonna hold your alt key uh, and pick up a color from the dress here so i think this uh, looks pretty good uh, then go and do a click then you check okay it's way too big so you go and make it smaller uh, and then you do a click something like that so now it has started blending with the image so i'm gonna go and change my brush and this time i'm gonna go and select let's say this one uh, and then go and do a click uh, if the brush overlap each other it's completely fine you don't have to create different layer for each brush so i'm gonna just go and do a click And also don't forget to apply a little bit of brush here. So I'm going to go and change the brush. Looking pretty good. Now let's go and apply the same paint effect on the hands. So for hands you will create another blank layer but this will be on top of your model. So let's just rename it. Okay so the same way go and select a brush uh, of your choice. So let's go this time try this one. Then go to your hand here. Uh, and make it a bit smaller so it exactly matches with the elbow and this time you will pick up the color and then go and let's do a click so as you can see and because we applied that filter earlier it will match with the hand really easily uh, so same way i'm gonna go and change my brush now and then go here uh, pick up a color from the elbow make my brush smaller and do a click something like this so as you can see it looks like that uh, she is melting and paint is coming out of it uh, the more time you spend the better and cleaner output you will have so the hands are done the dress are done now let's go and uh, finish up the face so for that uh, this time you have to activate your main layer the woman layer uh, and here activate your layer mask now go and uh, use the second set of brush that you downloaded so here i'm gonna go and try this one the main target here is to change your color to white and paint on the layer mask of filter layer so you can reveal some area right but the problem is every time i try to paint it also reveals the eye and i don't want that so what i can do is rotate my brush so go and click on this little icon here and it will allow you to rotate your brush something like this so go and try to match it with the angle of your face that's looking perfect now go and make your brush tiny bit smaller and do a click let's try it again perfect uh, and now we have to recover some parts from the hair so we're gonna use the same brush but we're gonna rotate in a way that it covers this portion so let's go and try it again uh, okay this is perfect uh, this will uh, let's go and make it smaller oops uh, and let's go and reveal this portion of the hair 
perfect now let's do the other part so this time i'm gonna go and change the brush so it doesn't look way too much repetitive so let's try this brush uh, now i'm gonna go and let's rotate it looking perfect now another thing we can do is go and select the eraser tool activate the hands brush that we use here and it is a little bit parts from here so it will blend uh, with the hand better let's go and try the same thing here let's erase a little bit so it blends really nice these are the little things that will make your image look much much better uh, and let's zoom out and look at the final effect looking amazing now let's do some color correction uh, to give it final touch so first thing I would like to do is group this so hold your control key and select all of this layer this three that has model and paints then go and press Ctrl G so they will be on a single layer then create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and here what you will do is go and create this clipping mask and then decrease the saturation a little bit so the skin won't look over the top colorful because of that filter uh, so let's go and try somewhere around like minus 60 uh, pretty good then go and reduce the opacity these are the numbers that I memorized so don't try to blindly follow them uh, I'm gonna go and keep this one at 62 uh, let's go and turn it on and off looking pretty good now let's give some contrast uh, to the background so for that select a texture pack go and create new adjustment layer and this time select curves so curves will be under your model but on top of your background now let's go and make it a tiny bit darker uh, something like this uh, pretty good then go and close it now we will apply the color correction that will affect the entire image model and background both so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select your curves in the curves let's put it here first of all i'm gonna make a dot here and make it a touch darker uh, and then lift off my shadows from here so as you can see now the dress the paint drips they look much better uh, and they don't look blotchy uh, and then i'm gonna go and bring it down a touch from here uh, something like this nice now go to your blue tone it's the standard we do in every video so I'm gonna go and make it a tiny bit bluish from here uh, something like that and then add a touch yellow to balance it out looking great go and close it now it's time for final adjustment layer for that create new adjustment layer and select gradient from here in the gradient type make sure that you have foreground to transparent and instead of this pinkish color let's go and make it absolute black and on this point also we have to make it black go and hit ok ok uh, then go and make the style to radial and make it and then make it reverse uh, and let's go and increase the scale so it fades out real nice perfect go and hit ok and then go and change the blending mode to soft light so we have this really nice contrast and vignette so that's it and this is the final output and as you can see it's really easy i did this in just like time of a tutorial so if you take your time and select every brush carefully you can create something absolutely fantastic so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button eh, eh, and 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 do you guys know that now i'm on instagram yes finally after two years of tutorial junctions i have decided to be on instagram uh, you can go and click on this button here or you can also find the link in description or you can also find the link in comments Just go and follow me on Instagram <laughs> And if you are new here, you can also subscribe to my channel So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update Plus it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop